How are we doing, Ish? I'm doing very well, thank you. How are you doing today? Not too bad, not too bad at all. Hey, I notice uh, you haven't got coffee this time either. Uh, yeah, I don't. Uh, you know, with views like this, you just don't need one, right? Yeah, it's plus, energising. Plus the budget got cut as well. Ah, so that let's not talk about that a bit. Uh, <laughs> any ideas what we're going to be uh, reviewing today? Uh, well, I do have the feeling that it's hard to top the last one. That was obviously a pretty big one. It was big. You know what? Today's big as well, but for different reasons, okay? I'm going to be introducing you the most popular PCO car of our time. That it's a big statement. Uh, right? a very big <laughs> statement, yeah. Any clues? Well, if it's as big as you say, I don't know, could you argue that it's potentially electrifying Ooh. the PCO market? Uh, you're on the right li <laughs> Yes, you're on the right lines. Um, yeah. Introducing the Kia E Nero. Ish, welcome to the front end of the Kia Nero. First impressions. What a front end it is. It, it is indeed. I uh, have to be honest on this one, Rich. Honesty is key. Go ahead. I'm not exactly unbiased when it comes to the Kia e Nero. Well, we're meant to be impartial here and get a kind of neutral PCO car review. So spill it out. What's I'm going not on? unbiased because we sell them, though obviously mm. that is a good reason. Uh, I feel. Like the Kia Nero is all additions, to be honest, for me, are the ideal looking car. And I've always thought that way. I'm not, I'm not just saying At it for the camera, honestly. It. At least you're being open about I it. I feel like the back looks incredible. I feel like oh, it looks oh. compact. I feel well, like it's packs a punch. Run before you can walk, mate. Well, let's, let's stick to the front. I feel <laughs> like the whole thing. Look, we'll talk about the front. The front looks like it's been kissed by an angel. It's wonderful. And once you splash this blue on top, which you didn't get in the other editions, I feel like you're laughing all the way to the holy stables and back. It's incredible, isn't uh, it? I'm loving the enthusiasm. <laughs> Let me just run through a little bit of this for you. Uh, we do have this, as, as you said, this nice blue trim. I mean, to me, it's a bit turquoise, and I'm sure there's some kind of weird corporate name that goes with it. But uh, let's stick with blue for now. Uh, there was a grill here, obviously, on the plug-in edition and the hybrid. It is still there. Yeah, it's I don't know here. how I feel about that. It's a bit, not sure about this diamond situation going Feels on nice. here. Yeah, obviously the charger is like here. Like braille to a blind man. We'll, uh, <laughs> we'll talk about that a bit more in detail later on. Uh, and yes, there is a kind of ventilator down the bottom to cool the electric battery, oh, uh, which that's looks what great. That's cool. okay. Yes, and we've got the LED headlights here. Um, yeah, that's pretty much the front sword and booted. I've got to say, those, those, uh, those lights do look nice. They look like lotus flowers. Lotus flowers. Not quite sure about that, but that's your opinion and you're, you, you're, you're allowed it. Like a sleeping giant mid blink. <laughs> We now move on to the side of the vehicle. Uh, we've got a lot of chrome going on here, which I think is really nice, really sleek. Love and it. Kind of, kind of executive feel to it. 17 inch alloy wheels, and I'm loving this roof line by the way. It kind of slopes down, uh, but it's not too aggressive. And uh, you, when you go inside, you realize how much space there is as well. So it's good, but it doesn't kind of wow me or it's not, it doesn't blow um, me away, if I, be, if I be honest. That's such a shame. How come? What? What is it with you, millennials, these days? <laughs> millennials? I'm older than you. You're yeah, always <laughs> looking to be wowed. Sometimes wow isn't about just, I don't know, smacking graffiti on the side of a car. No one's asking for Sometimes that. wow is just <laughs> arrives at the party on time and pays its taxes. You know what? Sometimes ish, wow ish, just ish, has ish. to look clean, neat. You need a coffee. Finished. You need a coffee. Sadly, there's no budget for that. So let's keep going. Like I've got let's, too much energy. Let's keep going on. No, uh, maybe decaf then. Let's wow, move on to the side. Wow. Always <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right, welcome to the rear of the vehicle. I know this is your favorite part. It is indeed, speaking. I feel very welcomed. I don't have really too many uh, specifics to tell you about. Okay. Apart from, can you do me the honors and open the boot? I get to open you the open boot. The, yeah, it's a, big, it's a big moment for you. Don't don't uh, mess it up for me, please. A very big moment for me. You've got one no. opportunity, I, one I time love only. boots, you know that about me. I know, you explained boots. in a previous it explains episode. explains to me whether or not the car is just design or whether it's also got function. Function, okay, know, we're so. about to see. Drum roll, please. Da -da 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 -da. Away you go. Oh, look at that. You could wow. fill your possessions in there. I do say. You could fill or, a lot in there. Or two suitcases for a trip to Heathrow Airport. You could pack up your life and leave your family forever. Well, don't tell that to the, the missus. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, not saying I would, but I'm just saying if well, you wanted to. Cast that out. Is, cast a little bit of doubt. For it. I've got to be honest with you. It's got it's got Toyota Prius plug-in vibes to it. You know, it's, mm, it's a big Yeah, I'm boot, feeling that. Yeah. Uh, which is a huge compliment, by the way, considering we're in a PCO car review. Um, and I feel that, that you could pack a punch with that. Have you noticed there's actually a JBL sound system right there for you? You might have missed oh. it because it's just on your left JBL, hand side. Like JBL, like the band? No, like the sound company. Oh, even better. Who's JBL? 
Didn't they win Britain's Got Talent? That one. What are you talking about? Or is that JLS? Uh, Ish, you actually may have noticed. No, on I'll your... stop you there. I notice everything, Rich. So did you notice? Oh, well. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> did you actually notice the uh, JBL premium sound system to your left-hand side? Oh, very nice. Very nice uh, indeed. And obviously a great because they, uh, they sponsored Arsenal a few years ago. No, they didn't. That's JVC. Oh. Um, Even better then. Even better. No, I think the JLS joke was better. <laughs> Ish, you may have actually noticed. I'll stop there you is right a, there, Mr. Tester. Uh, I know it's everything. Way too formal. Oh, did you notice the JBL premium sound system on your left-hand side just over there? Oh. Very nice, right? Like the like the band? No, that's JLS. Oh. This is JBL. Even better. You need to take Even some, better, because I don't want to just listen to JLS. You need some Amiga 3 tablets, On mate. repeat. <laughs> so that... It's not 2007 anymore. Good. I was a, I was a little bit afraid. Yes. No, this is JBL. Great speakers, yeah. great times. Yeah, I'm with you now, and I agree. That is great. Okay. Well, now we've seen the kind of exterior of the vehicle and a little bit of the inside. Well, I, Are you I, ready to go for a drive? I, I would love to go for a drive, but I have one question for you. Yes, go for it. Where's my charging cable? Charging cable. I'm glad you asked, by the way. It's right here. Ooh. Secretly, seductively, and slyly hidden away in a hidden compartment. Didn't even know it was there. Didn't even know it was there. But the police came looking. Where's my charger? Yeah, Don't I mean, know, the handle was a bit of a clue, but other than that, <laughs> I, I, I absolutely had no clue it was there. Now we've got out of the way. Let's, uh, are you ready for a drive? I'm very ready for a drive. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's drive this bad boy home. Well, here's the keys. I'm not going to throw it to you because uh, this is a demo car. So and we'll buy a lake. And that as well. Let's swap sides. Let's close the boot. And let's get on with it. Let's do it. Let's go. I'm excited. We're in the car. Uh, yeah. It's raining outside, but we're excited, right? It but, is raining. Right? Yeah, it's the first ever drive in the Kia e Nero. That's a very exciting moment. Not everybody gets to say no, that. Very privileged position that. here. Very so. privileged over here. And I feel like it's very futuristic. It is indeed. And going off the back of that, well, this is a fully electric PCO car, officially 282 miles. I think you probably get around the 220 to 230 in real world time, which I think is more than enough for a PCO driver in this space. Charge time, if you're doing a rapid, is between kind of 45 minutes to an hour, from kind of 20 to 80 percent. So you're looking at between six hours to eight hours if you're going to charge it at home. A little bit about this console, you might have noticed this. It looks a bit different from your standard one. It looks uh, really sleek. It does, and it performs sleek as well. It seamlessly moves in between kind of reverse drive and neutral. <laughs> you can also fit your kind of cappuccinos and coffee cups if you were to have one, of course, which today we don't, but that, there's two that spots again, in there. Again, it looks almost futuristic. And we can know. hide it as well, look at that. Can I give you one more awesome feature before we set off? Yeah. Um, I know in the past you had issues with your wireless charging. Or, or I think on our first video it was the Toyota Prius plug-in. Business um, edition. Plus. Yes, that's the one. Well, you won't even notice it, but hey, you've got yourself a wireless charging point right here, my friend. Very subtle, wouldn't even know. Can we give it a test? I know well, you've got a new phone, right? I don't know, wireless charging is one of those things that it feels like it's just, not just, just get about, on with okay. it, just put it in. Come on, Bills. And there we go, well, it's I'll charging. Be I know, you've also got a USB port underneath as well. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, very subtle, very I nice like that. little feature. I mean, before we set off, can I just say as well, this this is almost like an iPad. What, what, how, how nice I'm is this? I'm glad you say that, because for once we kind of agree on stuff. This yeah. is a 10.25 inch touchscreen. It's got Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. And yes, it's actually one of the best ones I think I've uh, had the pleasure of, uh, of trying out and using. Yeah. I think it's only beaten probably by the Tesla, because yeah. this is amazing. You've got your sat-nav, uh, you've got your map, you can swipe between the different sections here. You've even got option of EV, voice memo, radio. You definitely have phone. to take me through a few this. But I've got to say, just, just the map alone, that almost looks like one of the best versions of a map I've ever seen. Like, it actually moves nicely, and yeah, I'd actually use that. that. Are we ready to roll and get you on the road? Yeah. Let's do 100%. it. Let's do it. You've had a 10 15 minute period in the car now, driving around, yeah. checking out different roads, smaller ones, big ones, indeed. motorways, all that. What's your first impression so far? First impression is that it feels like such a smooth drive. Um, I've got to say, at the beginning, the brakes felt a little bit sticky. But as we've kind of kept driving, and I've gotten used to that a little bit, I've got to say, it feels so comfortable. 
and it feels like the, it's got a nice suspension. It's got control. I feel like I'm in control, uh, which is very nice. It also feels like, uh, I don't know yet, but it feels like it could potentially pack a punch as well. So if you're feeling a bit cold as we go towards this kind of wintry months, I don't, your seats are actually heated, uh, specifically on the driver's seat, which is incredible. And okay. I know you had kind of back issues in the past and stuff like that. I have. Uh, and you can actually kind of readjust electronically the uh, seating. So looking at the dashboard, um, it's a bit of a mixed response with that one. Um, in some ways it's quite futuristic, but it seems to kind of have different layers to it. Or on the right hand side, it kind of pumps out a little bit. Um, of the plastic and the feel. Yeah. On, on the left hand side, there's this kind of weird clunky, it almost looks like a kind of coding error where it's got this kind of like black slate coming down the middle of it. I'm not, I'm not yeah. sure what on earth is going on there. It looks, <laughs> looks like it's broke basically, if I'll be honest. It's not, I assure you. As you've seen already and tried it out, there's a reversing camera on it. Yeah. So, which is amazing for them tight spots in central London uh, and out in the boroughs. Uh, it's become an expectancy. Uh, it has, and it's kind of almost underappreciated in some aspects because not every car has it. So uh, you, were, you were mentioning some hidden gems in this touch screen. Uh, could you take me through that a little bit? Absolutely. So look, you're driving a fully electric piece of car anyway, right? Yeah. You're doing great for the environment, zero tailpipe emissions and yeah. all that. So that London's getting cleaner and greener. However, now you can actually quantify it and tell people how much you're actually <laughs> saving the environment when you're driving on the road. Because yeah, it's hard to be smug without data. Right? <laughs> you, need, you always need data, right? We're in a data-driven world. So take a quick swipe to the left, yeah. head to the EV section, Click on eco driving and it actually tells you the amount of carbon dioxide that has been avoided by driving this electric vehicle down to the T, okay? Which wow. is amazing. It's actually a fact that you can state right there. Don't forget yes. this car has also got parking sensors as well. It's got a blind detection spot. This is filled with tech um, to help you avoid any little nasty accidents and keep on the road and keep safe ultimately, right? That's the most important thing. You know, that's thing. the thing. I think with an EV, it's not enough just to be a battery powered vehicle. I feel like to really stand up amongst the rest, you've got to have some of those extra features which signify the future. And that's the thing, right? This vehicle isn't just great because of its range and its capabilities, uh, or even the tech. You know, it's it's a great, comfortable vehicle to be in for both the driver and the passengers. You know, I'm I'm, I'm a tall guy. I'm sitting here. I've got a lot of headroom as well, which I don't always have as a guarantee in other vehicles. Uh, I mean, Tom. Nice to speak to you. First time for a while. Hey, hey, You're sitting hey. in the back seat where exactly where a customer would be sitting. What's the experience like in the back? I'm, I'm legitimately quite impressed, actually, um, especially with a tall man such as yourself, Rich, uh, sat in the front, looking at the space behind this seat. There's still ample room for somebody mm. to sit behind you right now, which isn't always the case in these cars. Um, and the upholstery is, is, is lovely. It feels very plush. Yeah, it'll um, be, yeah, yeah, I'm impressed. It would either be leather, leather or, or, or leatherette, depending on where you get it from. Uh, great little review, by the way. You've been practicing that, haven't you? <laughs> yeah, you was right on point. First time. Love yeah, it. he's gunning for us. I've had like yeah. six or seven reviews to, you know, nail it. Do you want to be sitting in the front seat? Is this what? Is this no, your plan all along? Definitely not. You guys carry on. You guys carry on. <laughs> So I've got to say, you know, with the, the whole range anxiety thing, which definitely is, uh, you know, justified for a lot of uh, people, this car kind of blows that out of the water, doesn't it? Gets rid of that anxiety completely, you know, it's 282 miles, probably a bit less in real, in, in real world situations, but with the average PCO driver doing maybe just over 100 miles a day, you know, on their shift, uh, it, it should not really pose a problem for the majority of drivers, especially in London, and, and especially now with the kind of charging infrastructure starting to really improve. And look, uh, as we know, uh, a third of people, that's the, that's the oh. That's right, why are you? <laughs> you always freak for like every small sound. <laughs> what? I love it, love it. Keep going, you do fine. <laughs> What's up? I don't get it. You do, I think it's fine. I don't get it, what have I done? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, <laughs> And look, as we know, uh, a third of PCO drivers across the board from our data and, and industry averages don't have an access to a driveway to charge, yeah. whether it be because they live in a, a rented accommodation or in a flat, it's just not feasible for them to have a charge point put into their driveway, if they even have one. So this is a kind of solution, right? Because, you know, with 280 odd miles, um, you know, you can use the rapid charger, you can charge from the tub. It won't be at the forefront of your mind all the time that you need to charge this vehicle up because it will get you that extra bit further. It has got that extra juice which makes the job less stressful, more enjoyable, you know, as you can see yourself, and I don't want to speak on your behalf, but it's, it's a great ride so far, right? Yeah. It's an enjoyable drive, Sweet. and it has the tech, so this, this, this is uh, a solution for the industry, I think. Yeah, 100%. Just to add a few more extra amazing features in this car, it does also have uh, cruise control as well. It's got eco mode, it's also got um, drive mode, 
It's also got normal mode, which is what you've been driving in the whole time up to now. So it's nice to see extra features on the vehicle, extra modes. All right, so how's the drive been so far? Really nice, really enjoyable. Good to hear. So how about we head back to Otter HQ and let's uh, gather our thoughts and summarise what our experience so far of the key you know, has Sounds been. like a plan. All right, let's crack on with it. Back yeah, to HQ. Cool. Let's do it. So, Ish, we're coming towards the end of our uh, PCO car review for the Kia e-Mira, sadly. Yeah. Uh, you've gone for the drive, we've gone through the tech. There's actually yeah. a few things I've missed, actually, like the heated steering wheel. That was and why the, that was yeah, so close yeah, to. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And the dual uh, climate control as well. A bit of air con in there. Very nice. Really so, really and there's probably a few other features as well. But, yeah. Uh, but it'd be amazing to hear about your experience and your overall score as well. Yeah, I, uh, I think I'm going to give it a five. A fi five? Yeah, five. A I'm going to give say? it a four. Ship. Look. We should just stop now, that's it, we're done. <laughs> Look, I don't there. think we should be one of those PCO car reviews that just play hard to get and keep flirting around, giving 4.8s and 4.9s. If we think about it, you know, you've got the range of a, of a Tesla, almost. You've got the tech inside of a Tesla, almost. It mm. feels good, it feels luxury. The spec and the tech is all what good. What do you want? Uh, it looks good, uh, it feels good to drive. Um, yep. I feel like it's got the best of every EV on the market right now. And then once you add in, fact you're not paying congestion charges I think it's you know yeah, for at least another couple of years yeah it's a tool for a job and ultimately I think it's probably one of the best tools for the job that exists I think being pretty honest about it and yeah I mean I, I, I agree completely it's an amazing car and I'm, I'm happy we finally got around to reviewing it as well because it's taken it's taken quite a while for us to get to this stage with the yeah. current climate and everything that's going on so happy to be here and review this car here in West London you can fully un I think sometimes when you get inside a car where there's a lot of hype around it there's always the risk that it never doesn't live up to it. Mm. But, you know, stepping inside of the Kia Ian era, I, I fully get the hype. I understand it. why it's so popular. Well, you've, the bar's been raised. Yeah. So <laughs> is there any way that you can raise it higher next time around? Because now you're in control. Your turn next time around to show me a PCO car and explain it to me. I don't so, know. I think uh, I'm keeping that one in the back pocket. Keep it under wraps. Yeah, <laughs> you got a, a tall order, my friend. Yeah. A tall order. So <laughs> this was a good experience. And I think, yeah. uh, you know, until next time, happy driving and uh, let's keep going. Yeah, let's do awesome. it. Awesome. All right. Cool. See ya.